uh, and a large force heading across the map now, so Atosis is sieged up just in time. He's got this force, and Noni's really going to have to try and commit to taking this out, because if he doesn't, then he could be in a seriously dire position with the tanks moving in, but in indeed he is tr he's trying to take this out. Uh, he's not doing a great job of killing the tanks, and those tanks are going to be slaughtering him shortly. He's got the Archons, and, and Storms again. Storms have really been saving Noni's ass, because uh, without them, those tanks would not be as easy to kill, and uh, he'd be losing a lot more Dragoons than he is. And, wow, heavy casualties from both sides. Looks like Artos Anoni's only just going to be able to hold this off. Well, maybe not even hold it off because the uh, vultures have arrived uh, and uh, mines just coming in. Noni has got rid of the last tank. Uh, finally, a reinforcement uh, a group of tanks has arrived, but uh, Noni's kept the pressure off him just enough. I mean, still pressure on him, but he's kept the pressure off him just enough to just keep the macro coming in, and he hasn't been contained, and I think that's crucial. If Noni were to be contained at the 9 o'clock position, then Artosis could definitely take it because there'd be no pressure on his expansions. He'd be able to keep the 12 o'clock position. Noni wouldn't be able to take out the top left, and he'd be fine, but indeed, Artosis has not been able been able to put the pressure on enough to contain that nine o'clock so uh, we're again in a very even game and this game is is turning into a very very long game indeed we're at the uh, 35 minute mark basically and uh, still neither player has a decisive lead and we've still got plenty of bases being mined so this could turn into a a very very long game uh, both both sides have, have upgraded the units fairly decently. Uh, we're still seeing nothing going on at the bottom bottom base because the seal is, is effectively there. Noni hasn't got a chance to get rid of the the mines and and turrets just blocking the base there. Maybe he is going to go for it now. Yeah, he's got the dragoon in. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. Artosis is really just trying to get a, a, a position here in the middle of the map where he can defend. Maybe what he ought to do is spread the tanks out and just slowly move in the tanks one by one, keep them, keep them spread, keep the vultures on hand while macroing up and actually push towards that 9 o'clock very slowly. It's quite hard to keep a cool head and do that when you're under pressure. But it would be effective because, because Noni's actually taking this top left and Noni's going to be able to keep the top left if uh, he doesn't get contained by this this push on the nine o'clock, uh, so what Atosis might choose to do now is just again try to top, um, push for the top left. But it's going to be hard because Noni's unit count unit count is staying very high. He's still got a lot of zealots. He's still got a lot of uh, dragoons, and now with uh, high templars and, and archons being uh, kept into in the mix at such high numbers, he's he's able to put he's able to put down any push attempt that Atosis uh, tries to to put forth. Oof. So yeah, just a deadlocked man. Couldn't need to take a breather. I'm, this is going to be a definitely going to need a drink of water. In fact, I'll just reach for my glass here. Mm. Oh my god! Uh, just as I do that, Noni pushes straight into the middle of the map and uh, runs straight into the tanks. In very good positioning with the uh, with the with the zealots. That EMP went off. First EMP of the game, but it's not going to do too much uh, damage against this. Uh, Noni is actually winning this by a landslide. The uh, the combined uh, power of his is uh, zealots rushing in and the storms going off, uh, and uh, the big dragoon concave there has just totally disrupted everything that uh, Atosis wanted to do there, and his uh, his forces have been annihilated. But uh, Atosis just moving the tanks, a uh, very wise move, just moving the tanks back, uh, keeping keeping them away from the Protoss army and sieging up. The Zealots now coming in, he's going to have to take out the Zealots very quickly, otherwise he's going to lose the tanks again. Unfortunate mine placement, because the, the mines just keep getting dragged into the, the Dragoons. Got another group of tanks. I love it how his tanks always show up in re reinforcement here to siege up on the cliff, because because that's the optimum position, and it so effectively has a wall there because that means the zealots can't rush up the up the top. So finally, some good defense by Artosis, and he's managed to blunt that attack enough. But uh, Noni is actually slightly in the lead here because he's entirely kept the pressure off himself. He's got the top left now, and he's able to stop this expansion at the the bottom right. Uh, Artosis has still got the two expansions at the twelve o'clock, and he's he's looking to go for the mineral only between the nine o'clock and the twelve o'clock. Sorry, the three o'clock and the twelve o'clock. He's got no uh, SUVs there though. And Noni still hasn't uh, mined out the island expansion because of the uh, fairly uh, medium. Uh, number of probes mining from that and ouch, Noni uh, is actually just crushing this expansion down the bottom right. A storm going off all over the SUVs, so that's got to hurt. Losing a lot of SUVs there. Wow, that's painful. So Artosis is, is being kept to a two base count at the top, at the 12 o'clock. 
against uh, what looks to be Noni's... Oh, Noni's mined out his natural expansion at the 9 o'clock. Looks like he's mined out the, the 9 o'clock main as well. So Noni on two bases. Artosis also on two bases. Uh, Noni looks to have uh, a little bit better map control at the moment. But uh, Atosis definitely is not out of this game at all. He's um, got, a, got a whole bunch of vultures in there to harass that attempt by Noni to take out the mineral. Only between the 3 o'clock and the 9 o'clock. Sorry, between the 6 o'clock and the 9 o'clock. Man, it's easy to get confused when you're uh, trying to get so, much, so many words out. Another large attack here, a large number of, of vultures for Artosis, so, uh, just controlling the middle of the map. He's, he's going to be able to pick off those zealots a lot more effectively the second time around when he has another fight. Just taking, taking a uh, just a quick stock check of the the Protoss army, and uh, seeing that a lot of uh, zealots were down for last time. He's definitely not skimping on the vultures as a result. Uh, so just heading through the middle of the map, he's got his forces coming in. He's going to need to siege up a uh, well in advance. And yeah, he's sieging up now, so those vultures just coming in, in defensively, getting ready to shoot at these zealots as they start streaming in, protecting the tanks, meanwhile taking the bottom right, so that's a very good move. The, the bottom right hasn't been mined out yet, so may as well plonk another command sitter down. Uh, and Noni just gathering and bunching up his forces for another assault, getting rid of all, ready, rid of all the mines, uh, and soon we'll see another attack in the middle. So, wow, this game's still going on. Um, it's still, neither player is taking a clear lead here, so this is actually turning out to be really, really tricky. I just, I'm glad those zealots didn't run through that minefield, because that would have been havoc with the mine, uh, mine splash damage going off all over them. But uh, no, Noni has, has kept his force alive. Huge number of vultures now, but uh, they're out of position. Noni's actually streaming into the uh, 12 o'clock, and he's run straight up the, the ramp. That barracks has not walled in. The barracks is not going to be able to land because of the zealots coming underneath. And oh my god, that's unfortunate. If he had that wall in, he'd have been able to stop that attack in its tracks and get his reinforcements in at the back with the vultures there, but he's lost the tanks now, so he's lost that cliff advantage uh, position, and uh, this is just tragic for Atosis because he had a, a great opportunity to actually uh, get uh, an advantage here, but he's not going to be able to do that. He's having to slowly bring the tanks in. The Dragoons, once the tanks have sieged, will be able to move out of range, and uh, they're indeed doing that, that now, so just being forced back into uh, Atosis' is natural, those, those Dragoons doing plenty of damage before they leave. The, the Archons just running a mark amongst the SUVs, so yeah, this is just havoc, this is total chaos, the SUVs forced to repair the command center, a whole bunch of SUVs being evacuated, still had the Protoss, for Protoss force hasn't been taken out, uh, Vulture's there ready to mop up the Archons, but Storm going off over both the tank, tank group and the Vultures, and uh, Noni still hasn't been taken out yet, so Noni's actually storming all of the SUVs, uh, taking out the 12 o'clock, man, this is crazy stuff, he's just rushing in, and uh, Atosis just scrambling to bring in enough reinforcements to take this out, he, he knows that he can't, cannot afford to lose the 12 o'clock uh, double base, otherwise that is going to be it uh, for him, because this is pretty much all he's got left apart from the bottom right, which is nearly mined out. And uh, finally managing to siege up and, well, it's not siege up, but uh, clean up the uh, the base there and laying down a lot of mines, getting the tank into position. Probably needs to put another couple of tanks on the cliff again. Uh, and looking at the 12 o'clock, it's almost mined up. But Noni is actually in a strong position here. He's got the top left, which is uh, like a resource-rich expansion at this point. So that's going to uh, keep him in this game, keeping, keeping his unit count coming in. He's not going to be slowed down economically. He's still got the bottom left as well. Got the top top left, so he's still on two bases. The bottom left is actually starting to look like it's going to be mined out now, so uh, that's not going to keep him uh, sustained for too much longer, but that top left hopefully will, and uh, the toasters might be bled dry. So if Noni can successfully push into the 12 o'clock, is basically what I'm saying, if Noni can do that, then he should be able to take out this game. Uh, and we're, we're going to see him attempt to do that now, running in with the Zealots, running directly for the tanks, trying to bypass the Vultures and get some tank kills. Meanwhile, being flanked from behind by, uh, by Artosis, but Atosis just does not have the unit count to, to take this all out before he loses his expansion. And indeed, the uh, Protoss forces target firing that command center. They're going to be able to take it out uh, if, if they are hasty enough. And uh, wham, just taking this command center out. Yeah, it's tried to lift off, uh, but not in time. And uh, Protoss is just moving. And he's, he, what he needs to do now is just back up and, and run up the ramp to take out the other, other command center. But he's not choosing to do that. He's going to try and take out the reinforcements. But I think uh, I thought he's got too many units there to defend. Oh, 
God, uh, 40 minutes into the game, of, oh, I've been just yapping away so quickly for that entire length of time. I'm starting to get really exhausted here. But uh, very exciting game. I just cannot cannot leave my seat. I cannot blink for a second because this game is, is turning out to be epic. Cannot wait to see how this turns out. Uh, the Dragoons shooting at, shooting at the mines, trying again to come into the 12 o'clock position and, and blast their way through. A storm going off, taking out the SUVs, repairing the tank as well. Uh, in the meantime, Artos is surrounding the Dragoons, getting stormed again, man. Just a cyanic storm all over the place. It's just like, man, electrical storm nightmare. Uh, and luckily some tanks have arrived and hopefully hopefully there aren't too, there isn't too much energy left because those tanks are, are going to get shredded as well but looks like that's not the case uh, tanks are coming in now to protect an empty expansion so there's, there's not too much in the way of uh, resource mining going on here I'm very worried for Artosis because he's not he's probably not going to be able to keep up the the macro management that uh, Noni has managed to do at this point because he's under resourced now